I'm not at all surprised when I'm out here that Gray felt this was a very magical place, a very powerful place. It's a character in his story. What is there not to love about this opera? Because this opera is about Arizona. Everything is tied around Arizona. As an artist, as a subject matter, you gotta have something that's got, for me anyway, that has a lot of grandeur and a lot of drama to the forms. Will you look at this place as beautiful as any place I ever seen rising right up to the sky There's such a vibrancy in Ed's work there are these huge 28 foot high mountains, you know, and, and behind that there's another row of them. And then behind that there's this incredible projection screen with Ed Mel clouds, you know, rolling through and changing color. Ed Mel has an incredible palette. It's very diverse. I've seen him mix colors that don't seem right. And he'll put it up to the painting and put it in context and it, and it literally sings. It's so close to music, it's not even funny. Nature is so complex, and I always felt the deal with the little bushes and all the little, it just was, well, it's been done very well, so I felt like simplifying it and more deal with volumes and color and kind of the dynamic energy of the landscape was my mission. I think it was Charlie Parker, the jazz musician, who said, a really good player knows what to leave out. And there's an art to being so simple. Uh, that's genius. Ed Mel has that ability to make really abstract paintings. I've seen him in the studio working on something and it looks like just some abstract lines that don't add up to anything. And it gets done and I look up and I go, that's Coal Mine Canyon. That's how specific his work is. And I don't care what you say, that's genius. Working with Ed Mel is a, a, a rarity. It's an, it's, it's an opportunity. And I think the most rare thing about it is that he is such a collaborator. And he is absolutely right there talking about what benefits the piece. If I have a question about, can we add this? Sure, I'll paint it, let's do it. You know, the stampede. We're having an Ed Mel original for our stampede, you know. How often do you get that? Working uh, three-dimensionally will be a new adventure for me. And also, I'll be working with a lot of other people, you know. And there'll be figures walking within what I am creating. They, they close up to 12 feet. Right now, they're 24 feet Great. each. On each side, they... They telescope they, they, a little? Yeah, they come back. So, so as they walk into the scene, people from the sides will be able to see them as well. Okay, so I have options with how you know large open the aperture is and how right. close, close it is. To me, the opera is playing with a, it's a new element and on such a grand scale. And I always thought doing a stage or a play or an opera or something like that would be really wonderful to do. And to be able to do that now is really, you know, it's, it's great. Ed's work has never been featured theatrically before. And I think it's work that is very familiar to us as Americans that appreciate art, but to see it on a on a huge stage in you know sort of this grandiose scale, that's incredibly special. It's a new challenge and I think that new challenge is what keeps you going. <laughs> then I can make it come to